Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at the Jervenfeld Duke and Hunter set up as a wind sack, and we're going to compare that to the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak set up as a wind sack and see how they perform. The Jervin is an insulated model, and the Sarma is uninsulated, so just the Mylar coating on the inside of it. We're quickly running out of light to do this, but I'm going to try and move this along. We'll do the Jervin first. We'll run the Sarma uninsulated. And then if we still have time, I've got a secret weapon to plus up the uninsulated cloak. Welcome to Endurance Room. All right. So here we have our cloaks. That is the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak Uninsulated Edition and Summer MO5. That is the Finnish Woodland. Great camo. Over here, we have a Jervin Feldukin Hunter. And a really nice variation of a woodland camo. And our temperature, 12 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 13 Celsius. So here's our Jervin. It's all set up. Just got a ridge line running from tree to tree. And it's suspended. Oh, it's just about waist level. We've got the finish sleeping pad underneath. I'll be in there for 10 minutes, and then we'll do the same thing with the Sarma. It's already way warmer. All right, our timer just went off. What do we got? And the temperature is 35 degrees. Three, three degrees Celsius above freezing. It's pretty comfortable. No sleeping bag, you know, blanket, nothing. Just inside on top of the sleeping pad. And I don't know. I felt like I could have spent the night in there. It wouldn't have been the greatest, but pretty cool. And here is the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak. It's all strung up. And as you can see... It's just the Mylar aluminum lining, so no insulation on this one. The thermometer hasn't dropped down. It's about 28 degrees, but we'll pop in for 10 minutes and see where it goes. All right, guys, the timer just went off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the sun is down. Four degrees Celsius, 38, 40 Fahrenheit. That's about what the German was at. So really cool. Interesting. Okay, day two. We're back for one more round. I've got the Sarma hooked up once again with the sleeping pad on the inside today. Just to show you, um, with it on the inside, it kind of acts as a spreader and gives you some some width on the inside of the shelter and i want to get another reading on it it's currently 20 degrees fahrenheit it's a little warmer than it was yesterday but i don't think that was quite fair testing the two so closely together because the thermometer didn't recalibrate and the uninsulated cloak ended up being five degrees warmer than the insulated cloak which didn't quite make sense so let's get a fresh reading on this one and then we're going to test it out with a wooby to see how it performs insulated so here we are it is negative five celsius about 20 fahrenheit Man, I gotta tell you, I've been standing out there for a couple of minutes. My hands are getting pretty cold, but just within like 30 seconds, I'm already warming up. So, really cool. See you guys in 10 minutes. And time. Almost 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like 39, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost five Celsius. 20 degree improvement in 10 minutes. Awesome. Let's recalibrate the thermometer and then we'll test it out with the Wooby and see where it's at there. And here we are with our Wooby. It's just folded in half. And then 
the ties from the wooby around the, the loops for the cloak on both ends. Makes you a little camouflage taco to crawl inside. You may have noticed there's quite a bit of uh, price difference between the uninsulated models and the insulated models. And this would be a really great way for, for a lot of you guys to get into the thermal cloak situation without maybe breaking the bank on the insulated models. So, and it lets you tailor it to the season and your environment. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Our thermometer's mostly back down. It's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit, negative four degrees Celsius. We'll call that close enough. Let's hop in and we'll check out the Whoopi. I've been in here about six minutes, seven minutes. Pretty nice. So I used the tie outs on the Whoopi to help kind of close it over my body because this is a good bit smaller than the cloak, but it, it still works out. And time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to snow. <laughs> awesome. 42 degrees and I think six degrees Celsius. Right on. I hope you guys thought this was pretty interesting. I did. I thought personally the Jervin was going to come out a little bit more in the lead, but the Sarma did really, really well, both uninsulated and then insulated with a Wooby. So, you know, pretty neck and neck, I got to say. You know, personally, I th really think they're both great. Um, if you're looking for a thermal cloak, I don't think you'd be sorry. Either way you went, if you want to check out a Sarma cloak, go to veristelica.com. They'll hook you up. If you want to check out a Jervin, uh, go to betterbushcraft.com. I just had a conversation with Stuart, and I think they're going to have some in stock very soon, which is really exciting. That'll be the first first place for them in the States, and they've been you know on the market for years. So really excited there. Hope you guys are good, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody.